What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back. Thank you so much for joining me this week as we review the top Pokemon card auctions that had occurred. If you are new to this channel or you haven't already, please consider being a subscriber. I would greatly appreciate it. And do not forget to give this video a like on your way out. Also, much appreciated. As usual, we have a great variety of interesting auctions that came by. A lot of Evolutions cards that had some not so stellar prices which we'll be going over here very shortly. Modern cards, vintage cards, raw cards, graded cards, you name it. We're gonna check them out here very shortly. Before I get started, I wanted to mention once again that if you do any shopping on eBay, please use my link below. It would help to support the channel tremendously, so thank you in advance for doing that as well. So, let's jump right into this video with some very interesting Evolutions auctions, starting with this non hollow Pikachu card in PSA 10 that sold for only $27. Here was a non hollow Charmeleon from Evolutions that sold for $29. And then we had a few break cards from Evolutions. Here's a Ninetales break in PSA 10 that sold for $29. The Nitto King break sold for $24.50. And the Machamp break sold for $36. Here we had three non hollow Charmanders in PSA 10. One sold for $30, another one for $24, and another one here sold for $17.50. Now the reason I'm bringing up these auctions is because last year at this time, we saw the cards like Charmander here that sold as a PSA 10 for about $162, and even the non hollow Pikachu was selling for around $102 as well. But we also had some decent sales in the regular holo variety. Here is a holographic Polyrath in PSA 10 that sold for $76. The holo Zapdos sold for $122.50. The holographic Mew sold for $207.50. And then we had a holo Machamp sell for $214. The holographic Raichu in PSA 10 sold for $425. And then the holographic Charizard sold for $1,913. Another one sold for $1,950 this week. So what used to be a four to five thousand plus dollar card is now settling around $1,900 to two thousand dollars, which is not too bad of a price for a regular holographic card. Let's go over some interesting modern card sales. Here is an Espeon V Max and the Fusion Strike set in PSA 10 that sold for $475. Definitely one of the best cards from Fusion Strike you can get. Here is an SGC 10 Sylveon V that sold for $122.50. And here, you know, I don't do too many uh, raw card auctions, but this one really caught my eye. It's the Umbreon V Max from Evolving Skies that sold as a raw copy for $185. And I thought, whew. So I thought that sounded pretty pricey for a raw card from Evolving Skies. And then we had a few celebrations cards come by. Here is the Gold Pikachu V from the Ultra Premium Collection. One sold for $350, another one $355. And then this week we had another Gold Metal Charizard card also from the Ultra Premium Collection in PSA 10. This week it sold for $6,700. Just a few more miscellaneous modern cards. Here is a Mega Rayquaza EX from Evolving Skies in PSA 10 that sold for $152.50. Here we have a Lily's Full Force Full Art Trainer card from Cosmic Eclipse that sold for $198.50. We had another Lugia GX from Lost Thunder. This is the Rainbow Rare Secret card that sold for $595.99 as a PSA 10. And then lastly, we saw another Charizard EX. This is the Black Star promo from the XY era. It sold as a PSA 10 for $582. All right, getting into some more vintage cards here is a Blaziken Level X card from Supreme Victors in PSA 10 that sold for $735. And then here is a first edition W Stamp Jungle Pikachu card in the PSA 10 that sold for $305 this week. We saw a first edition base set Pidgeotto card sell as a PSA 10 for $805. We saw a Dark Gyarados Hollow first edition from Team Rocket set sell for $616. And then a Kabutops first edition Hollow from Fossil set sold as a PSA 10 for $809. Here was a lot of 18 first edition PSA 10 jungle cards that sold for $910. And then we saw several reverse holographic cards from Legendary Collection come by. Here is a reverse holo Metapod that sold for $267. The Reverse Magneton sold for $355. The Reverse Hitmonlee sold for $330. And then the Reverse Zapdos sold for $1,136. And then lastly, for Legendary Collection, we saw this Reverse Hollow Charizard 
in PSA 9 sell for an even $3,000. Here we got some sealed product auctions to go through. We had a Thunderstorm gift box sell sealed for $710.75. Here was a base set starter display of eight theme decks. This is the two player starter set that you got the holographic Machamp in. Eight of these sold in the seal box for $910. And then a couple of interesting theme deck sales. We had a gold strip blackout theme deck that sold for $1,245. And then a gold strip brush fire theme deck that sold for $1,580. If you don't know what the gold strip theme decks are, it pretty much means there's gonna be shadowless cards in these theme decks. So you're likely gonna get a holographic Hitmonchan from the blackout theme deck and a hollow Nine Tails uh, from Brushfire theme deck, and they both should be shadowless. And then lastly, for our sealed product, we saw a base set unlimited booster box sell for $12,706. Here, I don't know where to put this card in the video, but I, I came across it when I was looking for auctions and I thought it was very interesting. This is a hilarious card. It is a Rudy the Hunchback of Jacksonville. Alpha Investments promo card from MetaZoo. Pretty hilarious artwork there. This card sold as a PSA 10 for $630. A couple of Japanese promos here are two poncho wearing Pikachus in PSA 10 that sold for $2,425. And then check this out folks, a BGS 10 black label Japanese 25th anniversary Charizard card sold this week for $4,350. Absolute beauty of a card. The black label goes very nicely with that golden border. Just looks mwah. A couple of Charizards to go over. Here is a PSA 9 Shadowless Charizard from base set that sold for an even $6,000. And then I saw this raw first edition base set Charizard that sold for $8,115. And I was checking out the condition of this card, looking at the back of it, and it looks like it might get you know, maybe a PSA 7. Uh, it's got some edge wear on it, some dings in the corner. So I'd say maybe a PSA 7, 6, 7 area. I was really surprised to see the price of $8,115 for this raw card. And the auction of the week, I'm going to give to this PSA 10 Unlimited Lugia Holographic from Neo Genesis set that sold this week for $32,000. $100. I've always found it interesting that a very low population card such as this, a PSA 10 pop of 15, will probably never sell for more than the first edition PSA 10 Lugia, which has nearly three times the amount of PSA 10s. I believe it has 43 PSA 10 examples. Last year we saw two sales of the first edition PSA 10 Lugia. One was for $76,100, the other one for $47,970. So folks, what do you think about the idea that the unlimited PSA 10 Lugia will always be the lower pop card compared to the first edition one, but will always also sell for a lower amount? That first edition stamp is a very interesting animal. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, please, like I said, Give it a like. That's all I got for you today. I'll catch you in the next one.